This is Larry Stoll of Pace Turf. In this short video, we'll describe diagnosis of spring dead spot of Bermuda grass caused by Leptospheria species. Although spring dead spot symptoms appear in the spring, the bulk of the damage takes place in the fall. Control of this disease must therefore be focused on prevention of the disease late in the summer and into the early fall. Check the Pace website for management recommendations. This photo illustrates typical symptoms of spring dead spot. Distinct patches of turf do not green up as fast as the surrounding areas. If we take a sample of turf from the margin of the affected patch, we can easily see the signs of the fungus attacking the plant, thereby confirming our suspicions that the patches are caused by Leptospheria species. Let's take a look at the diagnostic process. The first step is to take the sample and power wash it with a forceful stream of water and you'll see that we have some white stolons in here and we also have a lot of dark colored damaged tissues. So what we want to do now after we, after we get the soil off is we'll pick a few of these out and we'll try to find an area that gives us a good uh, typical look of what spring dead spot, how spring dead spot appears on the plant. And this is a good one right here. With, uh, I don't know if you can see it at this level, but there's some nice dark areas on it. Once the sample's been washed off, we can now see there's some discoloration on the stolons of this plant. It's still alive, but it's been uh, pretty seriously infected. And we'll try to look a little bit closer to see if we can see some of the structures that are typical for uh, spring dead spot. This is what the stolon looks like in a little bit higher magnification. You can see these dark areas that are infection cushions of the fungus. And you can see the discolored tissue where the fungus has infected. Uh, I always like to look at a healthy piece of tissue that is just being infected rather than an old decaying piece of tissue because you can't really be sure uh, what the source of the fungus is that's, that's attacking decaying tissue. Here that shows that the plant is actually succumbing to the activity of the fungus and the fungus is actually going into a, uh, a living piece of tissue. I'm just going to show you how I use a hand lens. Uh, this is a 10 power hand lens. You can get a lot of these from a lot of locations to look at the sample and I'll show you what it uh, looks like when you do the same thing on the uh, on the camera. But I hold the hand lens close to my eye and then I move the sample in and out for focus. That allows you to uh, uh, get a good look at what's going on in the sample. So you're using it pretty close to your eye. So when you're using hand lens, don't try to go like this. Uh, at a distance from your eyeball. Put the hand lens right up near your eye and then move the sample in and out to uh, see what you're looking at. And I'll show you how that looks on the video camera in just a second. And I'll just show you what you'd probably see using a hand lens if you're doing it in the field. So just imagine that the camera is uh, your eye and you put the uh, hand lens close to your eye and then you move the sample in and out to uh, allow you to focus. And you can see those spots that are on there are uh, infection cushions of the fungus Leptosferia, Leptosferia chorea more than likely. But anyway, that uh, gives you an idea of what it would look like through a hand lens.